There's anyway, the floral board, obviously. Floral, yeah. Um, any, any, uh, anything particular that where's where are these vases? Uh, so these are, um, a friend took me to this like tulip field. These vases mm -hmm. are at my house. This is like a French wine jug mm -hmm. or oil jug. I have a pair of them. They belong to my mom. Mm -hmm. This friend took me in April a couple of years ago. There's these, I didn't know this. She loves tulips. There's these tulip fields mm -hmm. where you go and you give them 20 bucks and you get to pick a whole bunch of tulips. Looking. And there's, we went to one in Rhode Island. And then I just love the shape of sunflowers. Yep. I just love their personalities. Yep. Um, they're so interesting. Yeah. There's a lot of no no flags on the on, on the floral <laughs> wood though. There it is. Is so that I, mo, is that mo, no, where? That's, that's Portland, that's Spain. Portland. Okay. In the harbor. And so Steve and I went up there for a weekend a couple of years ago. There was an NCY show at the Portland Museum, mm -hmm. so we went up to see it. And this was our hotel just looked out over so the this, Yeah, I was harbor. I was curious about the perspective of it. Like, yeah. you know, you're, so you're up high. It's nice up there. Yeah. Yeah, Portland, I've heard. How far is Portland from Monhegan? Uh, you got to drive up another two, two and a half hours and then an hour on a ferry. So Monhegan's like three and a half hours on driving and then an hour on a ferry. Yeah. <clears throat> Just trying to plan this trip, you know? Portland and the, <laughs> So this is one of my favorite paintings yeah. in this show. Like people, this is confusing to people. Like, why would it be? Yeah. So I love uh, how active it is. Yeah. And um, so on Mother's Day uh, a couple of years ago, Steve and I went in the North End mm -hmm. just to, you know, walk around. And um, this little restaurant, nobody had people inside mm -hmm. still yet. Yep. And so this little restaurant had its tables in a churchyard. So this is a churchyard right on Hanover Street. Mm -hmm. So we sat on the table and they were across the alley, the restaurant, and we just hung out in the, you know, just feel that air, you know, was so beautiful, like 68 mm -hmm. degrees and a little breeze, a rabbit even hopped by and there's all yep. this activity. It was just beautiful. So I had it in one of my oblong books and then I redesigned it to make a painting out of it here. Mm -hmm. um, so it feels like that evening to me, yep. which I loved because I love just being out and looking at people. Yeah. Doing whatever they're doing. Is that looking out from your house? Too? Yeah, that's my living room. Um, my house, my living room, as you might imagine, it, after hanging the show, is yeah, very crowded at yeah. the moment. But this is a sort of a serene corner where you mm -hmm. can rest your eyes. So this is all gouache, mm -hmm. no ink. And I really, so I'm learning to paint with gouache. I love this brighter exterior that's cooler yep. and warmer in here and the light coming through. Um yeah, I like the I like the the, the grates in the window, and I'm, the, I'm drawn to the the frames. But like even the the lampshade is like you know the the texture in the lampshade and on the chair, kind of like they have like a like a really cool feel. And for some reason, all our lampshades are not straight up and down. <laughs> and yeah. um, I like them that way. Yeah. I, you know, I mean, I might go straighten it, but imagine yeah. if this was straight up, it's not as interesting. Yeah, no, you definitely know what not. I mean? It's because it's really like pulling you in. Mm -hmm. um, so I. <laughs> I have a couple of friends who are a little sticky about that, and I do get texts. Yes, straighten your lampshade. Clean, clean it up. This is how it's called. I love a mansard roof because I do love a mansard roof. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think they're so interesting. Um, and hull is, as you know, just roof after roof overlaid yep. over each other, which is really fascinating. Now, do you do that one from the like from the ground, and you just focus on the roof, or are you I, higher up? Uh, um, I was on the ground and I designed it to not look not below look, yep. where I am. So that's that is the edge of it. I taped it off on my watercolor paper mm -hmm. and drew that with ink. Painted this all in. I added some gouache for those clouds behind. I I think by the time we were done painting, it was gray. Out. Yep. It was tricky. So, um, but again, I like architecture. Yeah. No, I, I think that the architecture, like you know, like I was saying with the buildings and the the architecture that pen i think it just has like a real you know like a great feel that this was one of the other ones that i really liked a lot so, tell me about that one so this is this is from a photo i took this is um so Before i have I parking mojo yep. in boston most of the time mm -hmm. i can find a place mm -hmm. so if you um so copley uh church is right here yep. so this is saint james street 
um, which is one way going west. So, and this is whatever that big hotel is there. Oh, look, a flag. So, yeah, um, <laughs> two of them. I already spotted the other one. So, if you are, come down Boylston Street mm -hmm. and then you take a right behind Trinity Church and mm -hmm. then you go west on this street, there's usually parking right in there on this back road. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so anyway, so we were there waiting in some traffic outside the hotel, and I just love how buildings carve themselves into the sky. Yep. Um, I, I just love it. And I also love how every 30 yards you go, it's completely shifted. So mm -hmm. there's there's constant uh, interest. So mm -hmm. uh, it's a place I am a lot when I do my, like, hey, I want to go find a place mm -hmm. to park before I go to a garage. Um, so, yeah, I think I found a place right on that street. I yeah, often no, do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that one. I, I was, oh, and the one with the green? Yeah. I think I'm I'm particular to that one though. The other one, yeah, that one with the green too is the other one. That... Yeah, and I don't know why I made the skies those colors, but um, yeah. I do like the quality in that one, like because of like the like the the openness and like how there's like so you know so much white. Yeah, I, and that somebody had asked me one time, that. how do I know what to leave white? And yeah. um, I don't have a plan yeah. ahead of time. I just. So I'm drawing, again, yep. with how do you know how much detail. Like, I didn't put any detail here. Yep. That's a giant white thing. But the truth is, when you look at a painting, mm -hmm. your eye reads left to right, yep. like we do, yep. kind of. And then mm -hmm. you need a stopper. Mm -hmm. So nobody, I mean, I'm pointing that out so everybody will look at it now. Yep. But, um, but you don't really see that. Your eye just kind of hits and stays engaged. And mm -hmm. so I... Um, you know, I don't know how many windows there'll be. I also don't know what parts I'll leave white. I just have a yeah. thought and I don't, once I start painting it, like mm. I drew this from a photograph, but for yep. ones I didn't draw from a photograph, I don't use a photograph for color. Mm -hmm. I just make a decision myself. Where's the light coming from? Yep. And then I just paint it. Yeah. I like when I paint it, I just feel like it's been ages since I've gotten involved, but like I always think of. You know, like the removing of paint is just as important as like the laying it down because like those, you know, you know, some, you know, the way I painted with acrylics, like real heavy, like sometimes like taking it off, you, you know, it leaves you with something nice. But even, you know, the lack of anything there is, there, you know, same thing. It just ma it makes a huge difference on how the like everything else feels in it. But, yeah. And I didn't start off doing things that way a lot. I remember a few years ago, I was on Monhagen sitting somewhere drawing, yeah. like somebody's house with some vegetation and some whatever. And I just decided to add color only mm. in the parts that were not man-made. Mm -hmm. yep. So that I made, I, not that I do that all the yeah. time, but it was interesting that thought just popped in my head. So the house, no color, the boat, no color, the telephone pole, no color, and then mm -hmm. the vegetation around it was. Yeah. Um, again, the theater district. Yeah, yeah, yeah the public garden. Yeah, I like the public garden. And this was, um, I went to some concert you know, on the common. There's all yep. these free things you can go to, Shakespeare on the yep. common, these concerts. And it's so beautiful as the sun sort of like starts to hit the buildings before yep. it gets dark. Yeah, that's a, you, can feel, you can feel Boston in that one for sure. Boston's awesome to draw. It's not too big, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not too tall, so... Now, what about something like that? So, you know, now I'm thinking, like, I, there was the one down there. There was the another the one there. But now, end, like, yeah. they have, like, almost a comic book feel to it, you know? Like, <laughs> and, and, like I, and I was, I I was trying. I should give them voice bubbles. Yeah, hey, yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, no, like, I, I was trying to figure it out. And then, like, that, it just hit me while I'm looking at that one. You know, and it almost, ha you know, I mean, not. That, that you know that those are art as well, but you know that that's just what I'm thinking when I see it. But that's uh, so is for, it telling a story? It's not telling it... a story. It's um, I like a page that has different size rectangles. Yep. So sometimes it's kind of nice if you're going to do some drawing just to set up a page that has different size rectangles. Yep. And then I went through a phase when I was going through all my books at things. It was I don't know why October November of like 2020 or mm -hmm. something. Or 21, I don't remember. I started Googling all these like pedestrians in the city. Yeah. So there's no story. These are just really interesting So it's about scenes. the people being in the city. Yeah, so you just find tons of photographs, and I zoomed in on things. and Yeah, so there's, oh, it would be fun to make a story, though. It's just yeah, I, I I just didn't know if there was you know if it was one after, you know, like, but, but that's kind of what, when I look at it, that was like, the you know, I was 
that one and i think there was another one down there they just they i was like it has like this familiar like layout or it familiar does feel feel a little bit like a yeah and a, it's exciting to do that as opposed to putting mm -hmm. a bunch of rectangles on your page that are all the yep. same right so right off the bat if you just put rectangles down with no thought to what's going to happen yep. and then you start whatever my theme was these are the i would do these at night on the couch this mm -hmm. is the thing that was interesting to me at the time so you have interest already because it's mm -hmm. not symmetrical yep i made a um how did you how did you figure these things out jody did they teach you this in school <laughs> <laughs> well, how to figure? Oh, no, no, I they, just they, they, the them, yeah. you know? I'm a little older than you yeah. are. I have an experience. <laughs> no, it just also. I think I mentioned this to you in the podcast. Like Google Earth. Yeah. Just Google Earth. Like, hey, let's go to yeah. uh, let's go to I don't know. Let's go to um, Madrid. Yeah. And Google Earth Madrid. Then zoom in to street level. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that looks interesting. And then start drawing. You yeah. can go all over the world. Yeah. Yes. I made a little thing. My nephew is now 14, but a couple of years ago, he was like soccer star of the week or something yep. in his league. So I made him like that one down there that says the exit. I used a street scene on the expressway and I mm. invented a billboard that was him. Like yep. I put that image of him and I made a big billboard and I made it like a cartoon. Yep. Like people in the cars were like, hey, look, that's Robert. And yep. look how good he is. Awesome. So <laughs> where did I learn these? I don't know. Yeah. Some things I invented. Yeah. Oh, listen, I'm the same way. Like, you know, I forget, I, you know, you forget. Sometimes you just, you know, you just figure it out and then it's like second nature. You don't even know where you came up. With. Yeah. Yeah. Plus it has to be, I have to maintain my own interest because yeah. I don't want to get stagnant. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that's all it is and it just, you know, and it, uh, you know, it carries over. Right. And then do, have you ever done this when you painted? Like I look at some of these and I think, how did I do, not how technically did I do that? I mean, I know what to do, yep. but I mean, how did that work out that way? It doesn't look like anything mm -hmm. ever I've done and I, it's so successful and I don't know if I could do it again. Yep. Like, I think you've sort of channel. Yeah, no, I think that all, with all the paintings that I've done that I really like and that come out the best, I can never figure out because if I, if I could figure it out, I'd be cranking <laughs> them out like one after the next. It's, it always ends up being, uh, you know, you know, but I think that's the, that's result, the excitement it, of it, too. Yeah. So to me, in like I, this sort of song I've been singing, um, which is the truth, it's so joyful to me. Last night I was over at a friend's house. She asked me to sit in on like a school meeting that yep. was on Zoom. And we were in the meeting and I was just listening, taking some notes. But I was drawing the what was there at yep. the, in her room. And it was really fun. It's joyful. It's soothing. Yep. It's meditation. That's what I keep saying. So cross talk, he must be on the walk. Uh, he's on, he, the he's on the phone. Yeah, that was me. Excited. He's not even close to the walkway because he doesn't know. He's, he, he... I probably almost hit him when I just snapped this picture. Yeah. <laughs> so this is on Newbury Street. Yeah. And I left all, everything out over here just yeah. on purpose because I really felt like that was the, the focus. Yeah, yeah. You definitely pulled to the right on that one for sure. But yeah. You can see him out of the walk, out of the cross. Yeah. He just, no, not doing his own thing. Anything. Yeah. Nice winter scene too. That's yeah. Yeah. Um, so that was my postcard, and this I uh, is oh that is, that's why it looks familiar too. Yeah. I was trying to think if it had that uh, you know, that feel of uh, what's that painting? Um, yeah. as, it, it, uh, but that's the that's the postcard. That's why. It's, but it has that same quality. Well, of, there's uh, another child has some of Boston, like in the public in the public garden or the Boston yep. Common, with that one point perspective. Yep. Like a lot of his paintings have one point perspective, like this. My mm -hmm. daughter took this photo, and I this is not really sold. I'm just keeping it. Yeah, no, yeah <laughs> you sold it. <laughs> I sold it to you my you bought it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Because I. I just love how quiet it is, yep. you know, and I love, you know, there's things happening and I love yep. how simple they are and this hint of whatever's coming. Yeah, no, it definitely has that, you know, it, that, that same Boston feel. I'm trying to think of what the painting is. When we figure it out, I'm going to pop it in, uh, in in my head next to it. Then this one you were telling me about, that this one is particularly, you know, the, those, the buildings are great. The rooftops that you like. Yeah, I, well, I love those buildings in Hull. And um, I'll say it again now that we're talking. Yeah. So I called this the field trip. I was over by Jake's in Hull. There's yeah. a group of painters on Friday, and we paint in Hull. And we're going to figure it out. We're going to still do it through the winter. Mm -hmm. So it was September, and we were painting. And I saw this bus, and um, the ocean is that way. And then I, it was w windy, and it was yeah. cold before end of September. It was probably in the 
high 50s, but with the wind. Mm -hmm. And so I remembered that at our school, the fifth and sixth graders always did a beach day in September. Mm -hmm. So when I finished painting, I went over there and I just retired. So I'm not with them this year. Yep. Um, but I got to see all my pals and all the frozen kids. And yep. It was nice. But I love that to me, this is really what was happening. Was, I mean, what is that? The bottom fifth. Yeah. 20% like of this image is only those wires, but I think it's really effective. Yeah, no, those, have, they have, I, I, I'm drawn to like those structures, like that, you know, th those buildings. I think it has, it has like a really cool perspective. So when did you think those were like 1910? I don't know. I, I'm yeah. not sure. I'll have to find out. Yeah, I love those. Uh, I love the shapes of those buildings. Yeah. I don't even know what's in them. I'm not from Hall. They know what's in yeah. them. Yeah, I, I bought a bunch of, uh, I was down in the Cape in, this, this guy, I don't, I don't even know what his name is. I saw him in the gallery, and they were just they're they're like the they look like the cottages. This like that triangular top and the you know sharp sides, and they were all different colors. They were like they're super cool. Um, but they, you know, I think maybe that's that same thing. I just you know the shapes, the rooftops. So was, I think yeah, and these are, these have big eaves too. So the the carousel. Yep. I think is right here. I think, and I don't. Yeah, I think it's right there. Um, and I have another painting I started on the other side looking mm -hmm. at this building and the carousel building with its dome. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> also, I kept it low, but it didn't make it to the show. And where is, where is this one? We got some more terracotta walls. Yeah, that's down in Mexico in that's San Mexico. Miguel de Allende. I'm going there again this February with a group of artists. So this year, last year I went for the first time. Mm -hmm. A couple friends of mine, Kelly McDonald and Paula yep. Villanova ran a painting safari and this year. Um, Paula can't make it, so Kelly asked me to do it with her. So nice. we're going in February. Um, it's just, it's beautiful. It, mm -hmm. it's, that's, I mean, it's gorgeous. All right, what else do we have here? So, so this the is the last board. What is this? Is this the miscellaneous this board? This is a miscellaneous board. <laughs> miscellaneous. This could have been on the flag board because that's got the flag. There's no flag board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, so these are just things that I love. Like, I mean, yeah. like the Zakem Bridge, which yeah. I love. Um, from a photo I took coming into Boston. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty interesting one too. The, yeah, like I see it, the, you know, I didn't pick up on the buildings at first, but I like that. Yeah, this I love so subtle. This was on my drive to work last year. These birds would hang out at yeah. this intersection every morning. They're just sitting right there waiting for mm -hmm. I don't know what, um, which I love. And then these are girls at the North River Arts Festival. Yep. Yeah, I like that one. That has like like a, a, a also has like a really cool feel to it. You can feel the light. Yeah. I I I think I just it, I don't know what it is about the, you know, the ABC. You know, which you said that yeah, you don't think it, you don't remember it being that clean. <laughs> no, but, they no they they're probably fine. They yeah. It wasn't. I just invented that part. Yeah. So, um. It makes more sense. I mean, imagine if I just put. Mm. Whatever they were scribbling, I think this is more impactful. No, it absolutely is. <laughs> and then this is actually a gouache painting. Years ago, I did an oil painting of these pine trees in Maine at my friend's yard. And mm. I love the oil painting. And I just thought, let me just do that in gouache and see what happens. So it was an interesting exercise to really push in deep into those woods. So, well, yeah, the miscellaneous board. So we, yeah, we ran out of room on the floral board. <laughs> I did. I like that one too, though. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's miscellaneous. Yeah. Did I run out of room on the floor board? I guess I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then these, um, we it had is. a camera for yeah. a while that was watching the wildlife go through our yard, and it was motion activated. So when we would look at it in the morning, you know, you'd see there go the deer, there goes a coyote, yeah. there's a raccoon. Um, and I just did these drawings from those camera shots. Yep. There were never that many deer, but I love this one who just was like sniffing yep. the camera. <clears throat> so well, I did a few of those and I really like how I built mm -hmm. the woods in the back. So this is just ink. Yep. And then these Prismacolor markers that are in percentages of gray. Yep. Um, which That's... are a really great way to have some success pretty fast. The way that's split up too has the same. That has like that, you know, like like that one. It has like that, you know, that page of a, you know, of a book, you know, like comic book, you know. Oh, I think it's a really interesting thing to do. Just and I'm I have a nine by twelve book. I'm hanging out designing yep. these. I didn't design that to be. Let's make two panels yep. and have it fit in this size. Um, it just felt that way to me. For one, I made another, and then they looked great together. 
Cool. On top of each other. Cool. Well, the show is called uh, Drawn, Drawn Out. Drawn Out, and it's going to be up till January fifth. January fifth. And I think I would encourage anybody that you know wants to get a piece of yours <laughs> to get down here right away because these red dots are piling up, and I'm going to well, probably, I'm going to pick up a couple of them before cool. we leave here. So there's going to be at least two more uh, red dots added to the uh, added to the. Well, that would be great, and they are their price very low on no. purpose. I mean, I want to show what I'm doing with people, and. Um, there's a it's as you just saw this is a big show yeah and i like the engineering that we sort of arrived at to yeah. make a big show without having it be too busy um to look at there's plenty to look at and there's some really cool stuff i definitely would encourage everyone to come down and check it out and i would encourage them to share their thoughts and you know ask some questions because you know getting a chance to come down here and talk to you about the stuff i think is cool I'm I'm super and happy I, to come talk to other people about yeah. it. I'm retired. I'm yeah. not hang. I didn't pitch a tent here yeah. at the library for the whole month, but I yeah. am going to be in periodically and would be happy to meet somebody who wants to ask me some questions because yeah. I don't get to see all my things up like this. Yeah. I'm kind of excited about it. 